Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 244. I'm Brad Hall. Today we're looking at the frightening growth of Phoenix in the 1920s. Phoenix has always grown fast. Nowadays, most people think of the explosion of growth after World War II in the 1950s, but today I'd like to take a look at the 1920s from the point of view of people who had been living there for a while. Let's take a look. It's the 1920s and we're looking northwest on the corner of Central and Adams. We've lived in Phoenix since before the herd building. Uh, that monstrosity back there was built in 1919 before the streets were paved in 1911. The first thing that I noticed, there is now a police officer standing in the road and he has a stop go sign. Before that, people just used courtesy on the streets but now it's all enforced by law. What's Phoenix coming to? I don't see a gun on him. But I'm sure he has a whistle, and I'm sure if somebody doesn't obey him, they're going to the Huskow. Although I do have to admit that the paved streets are nice. It doesn't rain often in Phoenix, but dirt streets turning into mud isn't pleasant. I guess I'm okay with that. The new street lights look nice and are a big improvement over the ones that just hung down from wires going back to when Phoenix first had electricity in the 90s. I like the look of the Gooding building, nice and ornate, not as bland as the Herd building back there. I suppose it saves money to keep them looking simple, darn modern stuff. Nobody cares anymore. Well, the church is still there, but not for long I'd expect understand that the Central Methodists are already thinking of building a bigger church further north on Central. Where will it all end? I understand they plan to tear down the Occidental too. Hmm. Phoenix just isn't the way I remember it to be. I miss the good old days. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.